wondering how to create a fab icon with Canva? In this Canva tutorial, you'll learn how to use Canva as a fab icon generator to create a fab icon for your blog or to create a fab icon for your website. So let's get right into this Canva tutorial on how to design a fab icon, be it a blog fab icon or a website fab icon with ease. So what is a fab icon? A fab icon is that little icon that appears on the top left of a tab in your internet browser, which helps you visually locate and distinguish between tabs. For instance, YouTube has its own logo, whereas my website has mine. To create a fab icon with Canva, sign in to your Canva account. If you don't have a Canva account yet, just click on the link in the description box below to sign up for free. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't have a preset fab icon template, but we can create a Canva design with a custom size to create a fab icon with Canva. The usual fab icon size or fab icon dimension is 16 by 16 pixels, but Canva only supports designs that are at least 40 pixels. So we'll be creating a fab icon in Canva that is 48 by 48 pixels and then resize it. To create a design that's exactly that size in Canva, click on Custom Size on the right of where it says What will you design? Type in 48 for width and 48 for height, and then click on Create New Design. To create a fab icon with Canva, you can click on Templates from the left-hand side panel and choose one of Canva's pre-designed templates as a starting point for your fab icon. Click on Uploads from the left-hand side panel to either locate an already existing logo you added to Canva, or to upload a new one to be your fab icon, or even click on Elements, Photos, or text from the left-hand side panel to create your own fab icon with Canva from scratch. I'll be choosing this last option and show you how to create a fab icon with Canva from scratch. Let's first click on Elements from the left-hand side panel and click on the circle. Let's now resize it so that it occupies the entire design and then click on the color picker up top and change its color to my brand's dark blue color. Since I'm a Canva Pro user, I can add my own brand kit with my brand colors to Canva. If you want to know how to customize those, make sure to watch my video on what is a Canva brand kit and how to customize a Canva Pro brand kit. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Let's now click on text from the left-hand side panel and on add a little bit of body text. I'll be changing the text so that it says YTT, my brand's yes to text initials, reposition it so that it's in the center of the circle, change the font to railway heavy, the size to 16 pixels, and the color to my brand's yellow color. I'm happy with how my Canva fab icon looks, but feel free to add more elements from the left-hand side panel if you so wish. For an entire walkthrough of all of the available elements in Canva, make sure to watch my video on how to use Canva. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Once you've done creating a fab icon with Canva, rename your design up top, I'll go ahead and type in Canva Fab Icon and then click on the download button to save it to your computer. I'll make sure that the file type is set to PNG and then click on the transparent background option so that just this blue circle with the text inside appears rather than that along with a white square. This transparent background option is a Canva Pro feature. If you're not a Canva Pro user, you'll only be able to save designs without a transparent background. But you can try Canva Pro for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. To save your Canva fab icon to your computer, go ahead and click on Download. Remember that we created this fab icon design in Canva that is 48 by 48 pixels 
rather than 16 by 16 pixels. To resize it so that it's that size, head over to a website called Pixlr Editor, which is a free alternative to Photoshop. When prompted whether you wish to access the Pixlr X or Pixlr E editor, click on Launch Pixlr E. When asked, click on Open Image, locate the Canva Fab icon you just created, and then click on Open. Now click on Image from the panel up top, and then on Image Size. As you can see, the width and height are both set to 48 pixels. Change those two numbers to 16, and then click on Apply. To save this resized fab icon, click on File from the panel up top, and then on Save. Rename your fab icon file if you so wish, and then click on Download. You have now successfully created a fab icon in Canva and resized it so that it's in the correct fab icon size. As a bonus, I'll be showing you how to add this fab icon to your website, so head over to your website creation platform. Since I use Wix, I'll be showing you how to add a fab icon to Wix. If you want to create a website with Wix and don't have a Wix account yet, just click on the link in the description box below to sign up for free. Once you've logged into your Wix account, Hover your mouse over the website you want to add a fab icon to, and then click on Select Site. In your Wix website's dashboard, click on Settings from the left-hand side panel, and then on Website Settings. Scroll down until you reach the Fab Icon section, click on Update Image, on Upload Media on the top left-hand side, and then on Upload from Computer. Locate the fab icon you created in Canva and then resized with Pixlr Editor, and then click on Open. Once your fab icon uploads, click on Choose File on the bottom right to add it as your website's fab icon. If you're serious about creating a fab icon with Canva, make sure you sign up for a free Canva account by clicking on the link in the description box below Check out our Canva Tutorials playlist for even more Canva tips and tricks, as well as our free cheat sheet with brilliant tools that you should use below this video to learn how to save time and boost your productivity in your online business. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'll be using Canva to design a fab icon for your blog or website. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can navigate the tech side of online business with ease, and stay tuned for our next video, which is about how to use Canva to design t-shirts. As you wait for our next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.